Why do you think it's so important to talk about digital privacy at the same time as this discussion around abortion rights and more broadly in the country? Well, privacy advocates would always say that um, your privacy is a, is a civil liberty and that um, that is under threat generally from ad targeting and from large technology companies that want to do a lot of data mining on the internet um, to make decisions about you online. Um, when it comes to an issue like the legality of abortion, now this isn't just about you know you as a woman who needs an abortion not wanting friends or family members to know, but also being found out about something which could be illegal in the state that you're in. And so, you know, this is, this is a much great, the stakes are much higher now for that kind of information to be found online. And that's, that's going to be a problem for any woman who is seeking an abortion, because one of the first things she's going to do is go online, go to Google and seek advice. And of course, that's going to affect her browsing history. Um, and just think about what happens whenever you search for any particular topic, you have ads flashing up on your screen um, on that particular topic, following you around the web, people at your workplace or at your home can sort of look over your shoulder and see those ads. So, you know, so looking into this kind of issue for, for these women is already going to be difficult and the stakes are going to be so much higher. Um, if Roe versus Wade is overturned. Is it even possible to, for women to, be private when it comes to something as private as abortion at this point in time? Or is it, is it just, is it out there as you mentioned, Parmi? I think, yeah, the, you know, the, the great thing about the internet is there are privacy tools that people can use and they are available and most of the time they're free even. So for example, there is the Tor network, which you can go on to access things like the, the dark web. There are encrypted messaging apps that you can use to um, chat with other people, communicate with uh, with organizations, um, and have disappearing messages sometimes. WhatsApp has that. Signal is an app that does that. Um, there are browsers like Firefox that are generally more private, um, and search engines like DuckDuckGo, which don't use ad targeting, and uh, which also offer more privacy for people. So, um, you know, I think you know, for women who don't want to be vulnerable to having their browsing history accessed by their mobile network provider or by advertisers or even a partner, someone in their household, there are these tools that they can use. I mean, the difficulty is just educating people about these tools and, and you know, making sure that they know that they can use them. And do you see, finally, Parmi, do you see any of these tech companies potentially tightening digital privacy when it comes um, specifically to healthcare if, if this reversal does happen? Oh, well, I mean, I, there's a there's the issue of how tech companies will deal with their own employees and what kind of benefits they'll allow, for example, for people to travel out of state to get an abortion. I know that's something that some companies are doing. And I've heard that tech companies are looking at that, too. Um, but I think also tech companies who offer encrypted messaging service services like Facebook, that's a great example. They have WhatsApp, which is encrypted, um, and Facebook Messenger also has uh, encrypted messaging. They, they, I think they're going to find themselves in a much more awkward position with the U.S. government um, now that they're, uh, you know, providing tools that people can use to essentially skirt um, some of these new laws that are that will potentially come into place. Um, and uh, you know, just generally from a personal perspective, I think it's kind of crazy we're even talking about people in the United States using these kinds of tools when. Um, up until now, we've talked about political dissidents and autocratic regimes right. using encrypted messaging apps to try and avoid being surveilled on by, by the, an autocratic state.